This is recording. All right. <laughs> Try again. Shame me. It's um, it's so much more flattering when you see yourself from a hundred different angles. <laughs> <laughs> After someone may or may not have stepped on the makeshift. Yep. That would be mirror. me. Yeah. Uh, no mirrors were harmed in the making of this film. It's still you in know, one right. piece. When will my reflection <laughs> show? What is the first memory that you have where you realize that testosterone was affecting me? Um, I mean, I guess I'd say voice cracking mm -hmm. and in, you can tell in the early guitar videos versus once you started taking tea. Um, yep. I love that you know that that's the shorthand. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I know the lingo. I'm hip. <laughs> I don't think I can get away with a comment like that. I don't that. know the lingo. <laughs> I didn't, that's no. <laughs> I've read the books and I'm still confused. <laughs> what about you? The voice changing as it you know got a little bit lower. And then the beginning of facial hair. <laughs> Which I don't really have that much. And I can thank dad for, for that. Yeah. Yeah. And this we is, have, this we've is had what many discussions because my this husband could not grow a beard to save anything. his soul. Did you know about any of the issues that I had with my own body, or did this all come as a shock? Maybe not shock, but surprise. No, I didn't. We didn't really ever talk about that stuff? Not, not really. I think the only thing that concerned your dad and me was it didn't seem like you had a lot of close female, you know, girlfriends. There wasn't a lot of talking about boys and, you know, what you normally would expect. Yeah, you know, I wasn't the, interested in yeah, that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it makes sense why, but, yeah. you know, but still those really close friendships that you like to see develop in high school didn't necessarily seem to be there. But I don't think you have to be friends with, you know, really close friends with a girl or really f close friends to a guy regardless of That's, whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. As long as you feel like there are close people you can talk to. Mm -hmm. And you go back to the middle school when we threw out the word suicide and dad and I panicked. We immediately got you in to talk about it with a professional. Mm -hmm. At that point, that was, you know, puberty was in full swing, so it made sense that you would be concerned about your body mm -hmm. and the changes going on. Mm -hmm. But to this degree, no. We already talked about this a little bit, but what were or are your biggest fears um, about me being trans? You alluded to it a little bit with safety. I don't know if there's anything else that... My opinion, the fact that you are a male gives me, you know, I feel a little bit better that in the trans world that's an easier transition for the rest of the, you know, people on the outside looking mm -hmm. at you. It'd be easier for you than it would be for... Trans women? Trans women. Because there's such a stigma around them? And well, and... Or a, someone who doesn't know that this lovely thing in front of them is trans, woman is trans, might feel betrayed in a way. I don't know if it's betrayed or feel that insecurity of themselves that am I... Am I gay because I've just been attracted to this woman? I You know, for, for me it seems that I'm not that worried. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's mostly safety, I guess, and uh, any loss of friendships, relationships, mm -hmm. whatever that results from People you sharing that. Mm -hmm. I know that some there were some issues with jobs a little bit um, yeah. before you had changed your birth certificate and gotten the name change and, and such, you know, trying to explain your current mm -hmm. appearance with your current name and ID. On the driver's license. Uh, even and... though that's not how you were or mm -hmm. saw yourself. So there's just 
stigmas and I mean as your online presence becomes more well known like will that lead to any in negative influx of of comments oh this is a fun one uh oh. <laughs> what was it like for you to find out about me wanting surgeries I mean I guess to me that represents the natural progression it doesn't have to be by any means obviously but if if that's how you feel or if that's what you want then by all means other than the fact that I recognize that it is very expensive and it kind of puts you out for a while yeah. in terms of recovery mm -hmm. um and I know just even the fact that you had to remove or get the oophorectomy <laughs> um you were going through hot flashes and, I still and such. I still am going through that um, actually my body is really struggling with uh regulating heat and so it's awful mm -hmm. still so. you're, you're putting yourself through a lot in order to achieve those ideals dreams etc and mom you were there for all of my surgeries so it yeah. may have affected you a little more well whether it was you know these surgeries that are that you chose to have or any other surgery mm -hmm. you know as a parent you wonder you're somewhat concerned but you have to trust the physicians too but it's always been kind of your choice how what you needed to do to be you. yourself mm -hmm. to be you we always said you know when you want to make when you make the decision when it's right for you let us know we'll do what we can mm -hmm. we've been lucky so far <laughs> since i've had top surgery is it weird for you to see me without a shirt is this maybe no. too weird of a question okay mm -mm. no it's that's you okay uh, i mean i'd say a little bit but it obviously you've had this the surgery and not that any breast should be sexualized by any <laughs> by any means mm -hmm. it's it's just different because it's different. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Well, and, and one thing, we tend to think of you as almost two different people. We had almost 18 years of... Mm -hmm. And when I'm talking with people, there are times when, if we're talking about something that happened in the past, I will talk about... But why? They're the same person. It's just you can say this. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> well, I do, but you know, it. But I, I'll bounce both ways depending upon because there's there's that history. It's not, and you're Jeff now, and you were then, but same person. Hmm. I guess I, I mean I I recognize that you were on girls' sports teams, but I don't think, or I don't make the distinction. If I'm saying a Talking story, in the past. you know, like mm -hmm. I'll say Jeff was on girls hockey, but then again, the people I'm talking to probably recognize what the situation is. Yeah. yeah. When you talk to other people about me, how do you refer to me? Do you refer to me as sibling, whatnot, name, yada, yada. Jeff, son. Jeff, brother. Just like that. Just. <laughs> it's hyphenated. <laughs> I should have changed my name to that. 